Hi there, my name is Taylor Morton uh, and I work for We Act for Environmental Justice uh, and I'm here to give you a 15 to 20 minute lesson on uh, environmental justice. Uh, so before we begin our mini lesson, uh, just to tell you a little bit about who We Act is. We Act for Environmental Justice is a nonprofit and uh, located in Harlem that services uh, Northern Manhattan, um, although we do have a, a DC office, we focus on local, state, and federal policy and making sure that the folks who are um, marginalized or impacted um, by these issues, including communities of color, um, low-income communities, um, and other groups um, are protected and that they have the right to live a long and healthy life. Um, so today I wanted to start out by talking about environmental justice. Um, so there are two things that you should have for this lesson. One piece is this uh, PowerPoint presentation that we will go through together. So you'll have a copy of the presentation just in case you wanna go back um, and look at some, uh, some other uh, pieces of it on its own. Um, although you also have the recording that we're going over and we are also gonna look at our worksheet. And so this worksheet you can use to fill in any of the questions that are asked uh, while the module is going on. There's a space for you to write down your answers. Um, and after you're finished, you will have uh, the opportunity to keep this um, and uh, reflect on it or use it in any of your other um, schoolwork or use it as a piece of discussion when you talk to uh, your parents. So you should definitely uh, be working on the worksheet as we go through this video. All right. So our mini lesson on environmental justice. We have a couple of initial learning targets. And so our learning targets are the things that we're gonna be reaching for as we go through this journey together. The first is, I understand environmental justice and a brief history of the concept. The second is, I understand how environmental injustices can impact the lives of marginalized communities. And when we talk about marginalized communities, when I talked about uh, this a little bit before in my introduction, we're thinking about communities who have um, an unfair advantage when it comes to certain things. And that may mean that communities that have less privilege when we think about certain things. Um, so maybe that's access to resources, right? Access um, to good jobs or to healthcare, anything uh, like that. So starting with our warm up question, think about your neighborhood and write down three places in your community that impact your health and wellness. So take a moment and there's a box with this question on your worksheet and write. Think about your neighborhood and write down three places in your community that impact your health and wellness. For example, the park down the street to me is essential uh, to giving me an area to exercise and stay healthy. Um, green space uh, is really good for making sure that you have a, a place to stay active um, and that contributes to um, how healthy you're gonna be in the long run. So take a moment, think about uh, this question. Write down three places in your community that impact your health and wellness. And pause this video. When you're ready and you've answered these questions, you can unpause the video. Great. So, there are boxes on your sheet for these questions as well. So our first question, we wanna make sure that we have, uh, we have some terms down. And so my first question to you is, what is the environment? What do you consider to be the environment? Once again, pause your video, write down your answer in the box, and then when you're ready, unpause your video. Great. So we consider our environment the place where we live, work, play, pray, and learn, right? Um, a lot of times when we talk about environment, we think about um, a lot of environmental groups as being groups that serve um, places that have trees or natures, right? We think about um, our National Park Service. We think about um, any group that services our oceans, anything like that. But when we're thinking about environment, the root of the word environment, uh, we're really thinking about 
any place where we exist or something exists. And so that can also include um, our living environment, right? That can also include um, places and areas in the city um, and places where there's actually less green space. Let's move on to the next term. What is environmental justice? What does environmental justice mean to you? Take a moment to pause your video and answer this question in the next box. Great. Environmental justice is the fair treatment and meaningful involvement of all people, regardless of their background, when creating, developing, or implementing environmental laws and policies. So this is kind of a hefty definition, so let's take a moment to sort of break this down. Environmental justice is the fair treatment and meaningful involvement of all people. So when we think about fair treatment, we're thinking about um, you being actively involved and you having resources um, that you need and those resources um, provide you to be in uh, the same place where everyone else is, right? And so this may mean that if you um, are lacking certain things that you have access to those things, right? And um, that you are being treated the same as other people and other communities um, are being treated, right? Um, fair treatment, we also consider and, and we think about um, some of the golden rules of you would want to treat people the way that you um, would want to be treated. Um, meaningful involvement, we're thinking about um, you or anyone being involved in something um, and having your thoughts, your feelings, um, anything that is um, about you being taken in, into consideration. Say for example, that you have an opportunity to work on a group project, um, or you're working on a team with something. You wanna make sure that everything that you are trying to contribute to this project, um, because it is going to affect you especially, um, is being heard and that other people are taking it seriously. Um, in environmental justice, we really think about um, communities um, when they have concerns about their changing environment or any uh, construction that is happening or anything like that, that people, regardless of uh, their wealth, their background, their race or anything like that, um, are involved in those processes from the beginning. Um, Looking at the bottom of this, regardless of background, when creating, developing, or implementing uh, environmental laws and policies, we really want to make sure that people, regardless of their communities, regardless of wherever they are, um, are able to be involved in any type of changes, as I mentioned before, um, around creating any type of change in their environment. Um, and a lot of times that's difficult to do because there are a lot of people who can be involved in changes. Think about um, a grocery store that's coming up in your neighborhood or any type of um, place or space that's being added. Uh, we wanna make sure that everyone from the community is involved from the beginning to the end. Um, in this picture here, we see um, some of our WE Act co-founders. Um, WE Act was founded in a moment where Harlem was changing and a couple of the community leaders gathered together to uh, protest and advocate that they be not only involved in all the environmental changes, but that those changes uh, be fair to them and not harm them in any type of way. So we're gonna take a moment to get a better explanation of environmental justice and look at the video by um, Chris on what is environmental justice. After you've watched the video, take a moment to ask, answer these post-video questions. Um, have you seen these issues in your community before? If so, explain where and in what ways. If not, think of places close to your community where these areas might exist. So take a moment, watch this video. There's an area for this on your worksheet as well. Feel free to write down notes or rewatch the video as much as needed. Uh, take a moment also to pause your video and restart when you have a moment. Great. 
All right, so moving on to our case studies. We have three different case studies, one for grades four through six, one for grades seven through eight, and one for grades nine through 12. For each uh, case study, there's a video that um, discusses a little bit more in depth about environmental justice, either in a certain community um, or looking at a timeline. So for grades four through six, if you're in grade four through six, you should watch the video. If you click here on um, the community in the South Bronx dealing with air pollution, um, if you finish this, you'll have an opportunity to fill out the questions here that are also on your worksheet. Grades seven through eight, you're gonna be watching A Brief History of Environmental Justice. This is also a short clip um, where you can have the opportunity to read a little bit more, hear a little bit more about um, the history of some of the issues related to environmental justice um, and write five to seven sentences on the role of fair treatment and meaningful involvement um, in that timeline. Remember, fair treatment, we're considering um, how folks are treated, um, the types of resources that people are having, access to healthcare, different things like that, making sure that everyone is receiving uh, the same um, amounts of, of resources and help that they need, um, and that everyone is treated equitably and fairly, and meaningful involvement. So thinking about how folks are involved in different planning processes, how folks are involved in the changing of their neighborhoods, whether that's changing, uh, adding a store or a, neighbor, or a neighborhood grocery, um, or even apartment buildings and things like that. For grades nine through 12, you're gonna watch the same video uh, of history of uh, environmental justice, but you're gonna be looking over key moments in the environmental justice timeline um, that impacted the health of uh, communities. Um, so you'll get uh, the same video that folks from grades seven through eight got as well. Um, as you're watching these videos, feel free to watch them as much as, as you need to, right? Um, as long as you are answering the question, feel free to rewatch, take notes, do anything that you need to do. If you feel like uh, the lesson for grades four through six are too um, easy for you, feel free to check out the lessons for seven to eight. If you like seven to eight, the lesson is too easy for you, feel free to check out the nine through 12. So any of these are up for grabs um, as you see fit. When you finish those, uh, you should move on to this next and last piece. We wanna hear about what did you learn about environmental justice? Uh, we would love for you to add to our Flipgrid, uh, entering the password react for ej watch the video on our react story get to know a little bit more about who we are um, and then at the end record a short video to explain what you learned about environmental justice uh, feel free to use the emojis the filters and other fun tools so i'll walk you through this so i'm going to click on the flipgrid link also in your mini lesson uh, worksheet i'm going to enter the password we Act for EJ. Here's the video here. What does environmental justice mean to you? And you can click on the plus here to record a response. You may have to log in with some type of Google email. Thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for our next video.